guys, it's Always Improving here, and today I'm going to be creating a very large watercolor painting. Um, this painting is going to be a commission, and it's going to be of a succulent, uh, actually three succulents, and I've done a lot of practicing for this. Um, I'm going to be using um, M. Graham watercolors, and for the practice, I'm not going to show any footage because, again, it was a lot, um, but I'm, I really did focus on just sketching out a lot of different succulent designs and color schemes, a lot of color testing uh, with different watercolors, and then working with composition. Uh, I have chosen a final composition right here, so it's just going to be these three flowers. There's going to be a bigger one and then two smaller ones on the side. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm planning for today's video. And I'm really excited to do this. Uh, I've never done such a large scale watercolor um, painting. This is on Hot Press Canson watercolor paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby uh, for pretty cheap, so I'm really excited to be doing this. It's going to be on a 22 by 22 canvas. There is a little bit of space that I won't be using on this paper. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get right into it uh, and sketch out uh, this composition right here before I can move into the actual painting, of course. So I just want to start off by saying I'm a little congested right now and my voice may not sound like it usually does. Um, so just be aware of that as we're going into this. Um, the first thing I did for the sketch was just kind of um, put out some of the area where I wanted each of the succulents to be with just some bigger circles. Uh, and then I started on the bottom right succulent right in the middle and slowly built up the petals from there. Um, starting with smaller ones and ending with the larger ones outside. Uh, I started with the uh, bottom right succulent because it was going to be like the medium sized one. I didn't want to start with the bigger one or with the smaller one in case they felt like they were too big, too small, or whatever. Um, this way I could kind of adjust the sizes as I went, so that's what I started with. After doing those, uh, that bottom one, I moved on to the bigger one at the top, and I wanted the... I wanted less petals and I wanted them to be larger leaves than the ones that I did in the first one, so that's what I did for this. Uh, and finally, the last one, I kind of zoomed in on here so you can see it a little better. Um, it's a bit smaller than I had in mind originally, and it kind of looks like a, a vertical flower as well, so it was kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, that was just the sketching process. And now the sketch is done. It didn't take me as long as I thought. Uh, it did take a while, but I definitely thought that it would take longer to get all these details down. Uh, luckily it didn't, but now I'm going to use these three watercolor pencils to erase the actual pencil and replace it with something a little less intrusive for my watercolor process. Um, I'm not going to record this since you just saw me make all this, but yeah, um, I'm just going to do that and then we'll be right back so I can start painting. Alright, now that I've got a much lighter version of the sketch to start painting on, we can begin. And today I'm going to be using M. Graham watercolors, um, mainly focusing on the primaries and mixing those. Um, and I'm going to be doing these in a kind of cool green color along with orange. And of course I'm going to mix it up and do a lot of variation in colors, but those are the two main, uh, greenish blue and a nice orange um, color as well. So yeah, let's just get started into this. I think I'm gonna start on this bigger one and then move to this one and finally do this one um, and see how it goes. So I really didn't know how to start approaching this. Um, I had never done to a, a, such a big art project at all um, and most of the pieces I have done are not really based on plants at all. So I started out with a couple individual leaves and then soon realized that I should work with larger space first. So after doing those shadows on like the first two, I moved on to getting a, um, a initial wash of like green color on all of the succulent and I think that really helped to like define the area and define which leaves I needed to work on next. Uh, this process did take a lot of breaks because I couldn't do two leaves at the same time. Like I couldn't do a leaf next to one another um, at the same time or else they would bleed into one another and ruin the gradients that I was building up. 
Uh, so I had to do like every other and then come back later to finish the um, opposite leaves. And yeah, so how I did these um, for this first succulent, I mostly was just building off that initial layer uh, with darker and darker colors and keeping in mind where the light was coming from, I decided that it was coming kind of from the left top area. Um, so I was building up shadows from the other leaves uh, that would cast onto some of the leaves on the succulent as well. And like with the darker colors, building up the red on the ends of the succulents kind of was similar. Uh, I had to do it like every other leaf and I couldn't I couldn't have the red next to anything wet or it wouldn't be as striking as I wanted it and it wouldn't be as powerful and saturated um, because it would kind of blend out. So I did have some struggles with trying to get um, that really punchy color in there. Uh, but I think it ended out, it ended up looking pretty good. Um, I will say that I wish I had, um, I wish I had done a bit different technique on this first one. I wish I had gone over the whole succulent a little bit more than focusing like I did. Uh, you can see here how the right hand side of the succulent is so much more detailed right now and so much more finished looking. Um, I think that kind of discouraged me from starting on the other side. It kind of made an Im intimidation factor. Um, so yeah, I wish I would have done that for this first one. Um, but I think that starting with such a small area also helped me uh, develop kind of a process for this because, again, I wasn't used to creating something uh, to the scale or uh, really a lot of succulents. So, this was kind of a experimentation process, and I think I learned a lot about how to approach such a big, uh, such a big watercolor painting and and succulents in general. And it was really fun. So now you can see moving on into the red areas on like the lighter side of this. Uh, I did realize that I would need a lot more green in there than my initial coat actually put down. Uh, I also realized that I was kind of going off from the color scheme I stated earlier. Um, the succulent was definitely more green and red than blue and orange, so that wasn't a big deal for me. I thought it looked good, so um, I just hoped that, well, I had just hoped that my other succulents would kind of incorporate different colors into this painting as well, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, you can see here I'm adding more green color to that side because I thought it was just so desaturated and so light of a color. Um, compared to what I had done earlier. So I was just kind of matching those tones, adding shadows on the under layer, uh, and yeah, and just kind of blending out uh, all those green colors with the, the red on the edges of those, um, those leaves. When working with this top area up here, I kept it pretty light. Um, as you can see, there's not even, well, now I'm adding that like little bit of red, but uh, as you'll see when I developed this, I kind of left it sort of desaturated and really light to kind of just give some variation and some sense of depth to this image. I think it looks pretty good, um, but this video has gone on for a bit and uh, I still have a lot more footage to share. Um, so I'm going to end this at part one, and hopefully you really enjoyed watching this process, and I hope that um, you'll be able to see what I take from this learning experience on this first succulent for my other two on my next video. Um, oh, and again, uh, I've decided to hold back a little bit and upload only every Saturday, just because... Um, I'm in school right now and there's a lot of things going on in my life that I didn't want to focus on uh, other than making videos and like making more art that I don't have to record every time. So I really hope that you'll stay with me through that and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!